I'm Dan. And I'm David. And you're watching Handful, and we got a special episode for you, right, David? Yeah, we do. We got Battle Chairs today. Battle Chairs. And you might be wondering, what is Battle Chairs? Well, it's where all our friendly exec staff suddenly becomes unfriendly. Whoa. Whoa. And they battle it out on these cool, fancy chairs that they made all by themselves. So creative. Good job for them. But there's going to be a way that they play it. There's going to be a group stage that has four different squads going all up against each other. And then they're going to be competing. And whoever wins in that group stage goes on to the championship round. And that's where you have a chance to win the cup. The cup? The cup. So with a little bit more than that, we're going to stay tuned for after this intro. Show. Really, uh, it's got Am I on TV right now? No. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, now you are, yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? So, it's a handful to sketch comedy show. Have you guys heard of it at all? No. You guys heard of TV 10? No. You heard of Handful before? I hate the show. I hate it. Hey man, heard of Handful before? Please just leave me alone. Have you heard of Handful before? Absolutely, best TV show ever, even better than Seinfeld. Hi everybody and welcome to the Basement of Towers where it's my pleasure to welcome you into the 11th annual uh, battle chairs here. Uh, it's a great competition between all of the TV10 exec staff members who are putting their bodies and their chairs on the line today to win the prestigious cup. A uh, lot of fun here through the early matchups and now it's time to kick off the first matchup with the first group of three. Here now they enter the arena and uh, we'll give them a chance to introduce themselves. I am the coolest station manager. Hi, I'm Marissa, and I am one of the hosts of Blue Gold News Now, otherwise known as Little Miss BNN. I'm Cherizilla. I'm from the Atlantic Ocean. Well, those, those are three contestants, that's for sure. And uh, it looks like they're just about ready on the floor to uh, begin to battle. Uh, five minutes are on the clock for those of you who don't know the rules as Dan and uh, David just said them at the top of the show. There's no hitting, no slapping, and no bad vibes. They continue to just circle now, clearly feeling out the vibe of the game. Much like the first period of a hockey game, we've got our first contact. Just a little bit of a bump. Now a bigger impact and Katie McCoy is the first contestant out of this year's edition of Battle Chairs. She must have had dinner reservations. Now it's just the two BNN hosts. Chairzilla is uh, trying to claw. I'm not sure if that's in the rule book. We'll have to check with our rules analyst, Mike Pereira, on that one. Clearly some caution between these two well-respected journalists as they just continue to bump heads. Four minutes, 25 seconds left here in this opening round. Um, Chairzilla making sure not to run over his own tail. That's something you wouldn't get in past broadcasts, but uh, here at TV10, we do innovate. The two seem very even now, but there goes Marissa. She is down, and that means that Chairzilla will advance to the next round. Chairzilla, come over here. In your own time. I'm here with Chairzilla, the winner of round one. Now, Chairzilla, first of all, how'd that feel out there? Uh, it felt pretty good. Um, I'm used to destroying entire cities, so, you know, that was, that was pretty easy, not gonna lie, but, you know, felt pretty good. Absolutely. Now, uh, this is quite an intricate um, thing you've got here. Uh, so tell me, it, 
Does it ever occur to you that you might have too much time on your hands? Um, no, uh, quite the opposite. Probably should have been writing some papers, but uh, decided to procrastinate just a bit. So, um, no, not really. All right. Well, best of luck in the uh, in the next rounds, and we'll get on to the second round here on this night of battle chairs. Thank you. You're stuck on the thing, you know. <laughs> well, we'll just edit that out. We'll keep that in then. Um, and now we, uh, it's time to move on to the second round of battle chairs. And this is our first four-person round here, and we'll give the contestants a chance to introduce themselves. All right, I'm Violet, the Better Game Show host. I'm Jordan, the best game show host. And I'm David, the true host. And I'm Dan, I'm a host. Well, there you have it, four hosts for uh, a four-person, um, whatever we're calling it. It is, it will be game show against Hamful here in this one, five minutes on the clock. Now, four on four means they're much like the sport of hockey. There is less ice to work with here. Um, to coin a phrase. This one seems to be a much more exciting battle than the first round. Looks like David's caught in a spot of bother in the middle there, but he gets back to the outside and ooh, Dan is the first to go down. Down goes Zons. And now the two game show hosts are going uh, against David, he's got Jordan down, now it's just one on one. Violet and David are trying to joust with each other. Now Jordan pulls Violet down and David will be the last host standing in just 40 seconds. Man, uh, whoever put five minutes on those timers must have been full of wishful thinking. But uh, a very exciting and uh, eventful 40 seconds, that's to be sure, and a great product here for the sport of bat. David, stop spinning. You're going to make yourself dizzy, man. Come over here. Uh, David, uh, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Uh, so how does, first of all, how does it feel to go out there, round one, get that out of the way with a W? And um, that, that duck there, uh, what duck? you know, it needs to speak into the mic, you know. Oh, there is no one here. I am the duck man. <laughs> yeah, you heard it. Thanks, David. Yep. <laughs> now on to round three. Round three, where um, it looks like it will be Addison, Evan, and Justin competing, if my notes are right, but I don't expect them to be. So here are the contestants here in this one. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I can't hear you yet. Um, Addison, sponsored by Guilty McLawyer, attorney at law. What's up? I'm the one guy from Evanescence. Wake me up inside. Can't wake up. Etc. I'm J Dog. Uh, before we start, can I make you aware that your sign does not say J Dog? It says J Dwag. Now that, that says dog. No, I think it's Dwag. That, can I, anyone else see that? That says dog, right? Uh, the W. See the W's in front. That means it's Dwag. But everyone else is saying it's dog. I gotta find a better job. Anyway, we've got five minutes on the clock here and we've got action here. I need money. You already introduced yourself, come on, man. Anyway, we've got action here as the production director will face off against the hosts of the two weekly shows. That'll be Sounds of the Valley and Home Screen. A uh, little bit of TV 10 trivia for you as the first impact is on the way there. Home screen used to be referred to as home skiing 
there as Addison loses his cardboard and is forced to turn it around. Couple of good hits and I've just been gifted some duct tape. Now he's taking it back now. Uh, we've reached the 30 second mark and all three contestants still on their wheels. An uncommon occurrence, but certainly a welcome one. You can see a lot of work has gone into these three particular signs. Good colors. Um, actually, that's Addison's from last year on the back. A-N-N. Now, Evan's just spinning for a little bit there. Uh, we've gotten more than a minute into this one and nobody has fallen yet. Um, it's good for the action, good for the sport, bad for all the people who would like to go home and get back into bed. There goes Evan, he goes down. And that is the first person out. And now Justin just steamrolls over Addison, a quite eventful uh, sequence there. Justin is the winner. Addison seems to be a little bit injured. Anyway, I'm here with the winner, uh, Jade Wag, Justin Narvison. Now, Justin, you know how to. It, it's J Dog. It's J Dwag. No, no, it's Dog. Dwag. It says Dwag. My sign says Dog. It says Dwag! Everyone else says dog. Dog. Thank you, Lee. Dog. 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 Too so, many dogs. Okay, okay. Power of the dog always wins. You know, I really wish I had a question for you, but you just... I ruined it? Yeah, you did. <laughs> just like I ruined my spelling. He admits it. He admits it. And he took the microphone. Anyway, well, we've got, um, I'm pretty sure we've got one more round here of the preliminary rounds. Um, this round ought to be a good one as the five minutes still there on the clock. Uh, we've got a couple of contestants. I feel like we should have, we have more than two, right? Or is it just you two? Go for it. Hello. I am a 2010 Honda Odyssey, AKA your mom's favorite ride. And I am back, you know me, you love me, Lethal Weapon, here to take it home again. It will be a one-on-one -on -one matchup between two exec, direc exec directors, if I can learn how to speak English here at the station. Of course, Lee Quinnett in charge of programming and Jay in charge of the creative team. Uh, they are getting their calisthenics in now. Of course, battle chairs a very physically demanding sport. Lee, of course, was the longtime host of Handful, and the last time I appeared as a commentator on this program, which was a staring contest that went for 40 freaking minutes! Oh, that's a swing there by Jay. I'm not sure. I think the referees are going to have to intervene. Just a reminder, that's against the rules. Lee survives a push there as we're 40 seconds in. See, these two are going for an unorthodox strategy. See, back in my day when I competed in battle chairs, we used the chairs to hit each other. Um, Jay and Lee obviously preferring to just try and injure each other. Jay's got her elbows out like she's Gordy Howe going into the corner for a puck. Nobody who does not know hockey is going to get that reference. Still a very even matchup between two, two uh, experienced chair battlers, but there it is, it's the end, and Jay has beaten Lee. <laughs> Looked like there was a little bit of a slap there, but I'm not the referee, and I really could not be bothered. Well, uh, as the celebrations commence, Jay, you got an interview to do over here. Well, first of all, congratulations. You're moving on to the next round. How's a victory like that feel? Oh boy, it feels good. I'm savoring it by the minute, by the second. 
by the hour, well into the next day, maybe next year. Tastes good, Noah. Thank you. Um, I'll... Yeah, uh, welcome back. <laughs> it looks like we're on to the championship round now. And uh, this is for all the marbles. As we get the winners from each heat, it will be the, uh, the Chairzilla versus Dan versus Justin versus Jay. Um, and this is it. This is the final. This is for all the marbles. We've already let them introduce themselves once, and now it's just up to them to compete. Chairzilla, the obvious favorite here with that big tail as they get into position. More cardboard, obviously, an advantage. Plus, he's got lights. David, you know what you must do. Don't let me die in vain right now, David. You must team together. Take down Alex and Chairzilla, please. Lights and claws. So it looks like the other three are going to try and team up against him. Jadewag on the left wing, David at the right wing, Jay playing center. And now they've kind of got him triangled up. They're trying to lift off. They've lifted off the mask and tossed it aside. Chairzilla is no more. It's just your, your friendly neighborhood Blue Gold News Now anchor. Looks like Jay has stolen a claw. And Alex has retired himself. Now these three are going to go at it. David's still got that duck. Look out, that beak could be painful. Justin has stolen the duck, and David is down dangerously close to the set again, and the duck, which formerly belonged to Aaron Forsland, now goes flying. Now it's just two wily veterans, Jay and Justin. Jay and J-Dog, they're really battling now as we've just gotten into about a minute of this final match of this semester of battle chairs. Jay looks ready for a fight. Justin's got the hat backwards like a catcher. They're dancing with each other. Jadewag playing it a little bit conservative. He goes in. Big impact nearly falls off the chair. Jay is right where she wants to be. Justin trying to run for his life a little bit. He swirls away towards the pillar of that one, and down he goes! Jadewag is down! That's the end! Jay has won it! Your 2023 Battle Chairs Champion is Jay Eggert, the creative director, and you can tell she's having a whale of a time down there. Jay, congratulations! You, you are the champion, what are you gonna do? Sweet victory, Noah. What did I say? Uh, you were actually supposed to say I'm going to Disney World. Uh, Disney page it. Doesn't matter. Anyway, that's been Battle Chairs this year. I think. I wasn't really paying attention, but uh, for everybody else, and including our two wonderful hosts here on whatever the show is called, I'm Noah Schwartz saying good night, everybody. I'm Dan. And I'm David. And this has been Handful. We hope you enjoyed Ooh. Battle Chairs. I, I don't sure had a fun time. It. Yeah, you did? I enjoyed it. I, my duck got taken. I still haven't gotten it back. Hey, he'll find his way home. He always does. But on so a serious sweet. note, I'd like to thank everyone. I'd like to thank yeah. David for making this final season for me last a lifetime. We have 10 episodes out right now, and you should watch. If you haven't watched every single one of them, what are you doing? Exactly. Do you believe these guys? They haven't I, watched yeah. it. Every single episode. Yeah. I'm looking at you. Yeah, you, you. But for real though, thank you. I'm glad to be passing it on to such a capable host, such as David. Thank He's you. gonna do wonders on this show. You're gonna be excited. He's got great stuff planned for you. And as always, check us out on YouTube, uwec.edu slash TV10. And just look up our name. Yeah. I, us or something. I don't yeah. know. We're famous, something like that. Totally. Tens of viewers all the time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.